Hello, this is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the history of Mardi Gras, the parades, festivities, and celebrations in Mobile, Alabama, and New Orleans, Louisiana. Please enjoy this video. Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday, refers to the events of the carnival celebration beginning on or after the Christian feast of the Epiphany, Three Kings Day, and culminating on the day before Ash Wednesday, known as Shrove Tuesday. Mardi Gras is the French, or Fat Tuesday, reflecting the practice of the last night of eating rich fatty foods before the ritual fasting of the Lenten season. Some think that Mardi Gras was an ancient Roman pagan celebration that occurred around 133 to 31 BC. These celebrations honored the god of agriculture, Saturn. It was observed in the mid-December before the sowing of winter crops, and it was a week-long festival when work and businesses came to a halt, schools and courts of law closed, and the normal social patterns were suspended. Today, these celebrations still occur in countries such as Belgium, Brazil, the Cayman Islands, Colombia, the Czech Republic, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Russia and the Ukraine, Sweden, and the United States. Mardi Gras arrived in North America as a part of the French Catholic traditions. In the 17th century, France claimed the territory to Louisiana, and they had celebrations as early as 1699 called Lundi Gras. At this time, in the early 1700s, in the French Louisiana territory, Mobile was considered to be the capital of the French Louisiana. Later, in 1718, the French Louisiana capital moved to New Orleans. And this is why there are celebrations both in Mobile and New Orleans, Louisiana. The colors traditionally associated with Mardi Gras in New Orleans are green, gold, and purple, and were first specified by the Rex organization in 1872. Purple represents justice, green represents faith, and gold represents power. The Epiphany, which occurs on January 6th, has been recognized as the start of the New Orleans carnival season at least since 1900. Inexpensive strings of beads and toys have been thrown from the floats to parade goers since at least the late 19th century. New Orleans social clubs play a significant part of the Mardi Gras celebration as they host the parades on Mardi Gras and throughout the Mardi Gras season. The two main Mardi Gras parades, Zulu and Rex, are both social club parades. Zulu is a mostly African-American club and Rex is mostly Caucasian. Social clubs host Mardi Gras balls starting in late January. The King Cake takes its name from the Biblical Kings. And in France, the traditional King Cake celebrates the Epiphany and they're mostly sold in the month of January. Versions of this also exist in the United States. In New Orleans, the King Cake parties bring families and community members together to celebrate the season of Mardi Gras with its crews, parades, and festivals. As a part of eating this tasty dessert, inside of the cake is a baby Jesus, and the search is supposed to be to find this porcelain baby doll inside of the pastry. The person that finds the baby then has to have the next king cake party at their house. And the social tradition continues in a cycle up until Mardi Gras Day. Mardi Gras wreaths and Mardi Gras trees adorn homes and businesses throughout this season. Notice how these Mardi Gras trees differ from different uh, locations. The first ones were from the Welcome Center in Mobile, and then this is from the Louisiana. This is video of a Mardi Gras warehouse where the people or the crews and organizations uh, go and purchase their throws for the parades and they actually throw all of these toys, trinkets, and beads off of the floats. They can spend anywhere from two to three thousand dollars just purchasing these items and throwing it off during the parade. Membership in some of these crews costs between two and three thousand dollars a year and in order to become a king or a queen the amount of money that you would spend from the beginning of the process or the year that you are king or queen 
to the end could cost you between twenty to thirty thousand dollars with all of the balls and parties that are included in becoming a member of the social clubs. If you ever visit New Orleans, I highly suggest that you visit Kern Studios, who is a part of Mardi Gras World, and they are the organization that for 85 years has been building the floats for Mardi Gras. And uh, as you're going to see in one of my later videos of Orpheus Escapades, they are the people that have designed the floats for that organization. And these are some of the newspaper articles out of the New Orleans Advocate that show you the designs of the different floats for each cruise parades. And you notice that there is a separate float for the captain, grand marshal, queen, maids, and all of the various people who are part of the court of the crew. Usually these parade floats are designed within a certain theme, and in this case there is a big Louisiana influence or New Orleans influence. As in the case of this crew, the floats reflect the culture of the region of where these people live in Louisiana. These are examples of Mardi Gras doubloons, which are thrown off of the parade floats. And as you notice, they are made out of aluminum or bronze. They have the name of the crew associated with that organization on the front of it. And then on the back of it, it has the th design or the theme for that year's parade. And some of them are even dedicated, as in this one, to Charles Neville. This is an example of a Mardi Gras costume that one of the members of the crew would purchase for being on a parade or in a ball. And you notice what it's constructed out of velvet, lots of sequins. Uh, you can see how it's lined inside. The weight of this costume is very heavy. And the people in these um, you know, crews can spend thousands of dollars just outfitting themselves. This example is in the Mobile Welcome Center, and it is a beautiful cape that belonged uh, to a king or queen of one of the crews in Mobile. And you can see how elaborate the um, design of this particular cape is. This is Dr. Salvatore Benziguero. Thank you for watching this video on the history of Mardi Gras. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.